I'm a firm believer in having a website and I've had multiple websites over the past sort of five years or so to showcase my work. And I think it's a really good tool to have and to make it a sort of a central hub for everything you do. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how I created a website with Squarespace. And no, this video is not sponsored by Squarespace. I just really enjoy using their tools and their website builder. So without any further ado, let's jump into Squarespace and I'll show you how I go about creating my website and some of the reasoning behind how I design my website. So when you first start editing your website, this is the screen that you're gonna be presented with. You've got your pages, design, commerce, all the way down to the help tab down here. And I have to say the customer service at Squarespace is also excellent. But the main thing that I really enjoy is just how simple it is. And if you go into the design tab here and go to template, you can see all of your live templates and the ones that you've actually used. So you can see that I installed this three years ago uh, and I used a couple of these for quite a while and then I've been sticking with this template so the avenue template and you see, can see it says it's live here and I really like this one it's just simple minimal and really easy to navigate around and the main thing that I use my site for is my portfolio display my contact details so I needed something that was very clean easy to navigate around and something that just presented my work really nicely so I've actually got my website going on up here and this is my actual live website so you can search this up on your laptop as well your computer or your phone actually it's optimized for phone use as well and this is the first thing that you will see and this is called a home page and I really enjoy having this I think it's good to have a first impression so what I've got here is a really nice image that I took in Iceland it shows my automotive work and also my sort of style of working and editing uh, and this sort of dramatic landscape and I think it's just really good to have a good first impression so make sure it's a standout image if not you can just go with a uh, plain color and I think that also looks really smart as well but I really wanted to use this image as sort of the introduction to my work so heading back over to Squarespace now if we go into pages you can see all of the things that I have created uh, and you can see that I've got a range of folders to galleries to just blank pages that I've edited and created myself I've got links and I've got their blog designer here which is also really good and another page down here now if you go down to not linked this is where the home page actually lives and that's because I don't want to have it up in the display bar so if I go over to my website click enter if I was to have home page linked it would appear up here in the display bar and what I've done for my home page so here you can see that this takes you to my live website page so you do have to make the page live um, I haven't got it open in a new window, obviously, because then that would just be a standalone web page. So I want it to be able to be part of my website itself. So that is the enter button, and that takes me right through to my first portfolio page. So like I said earlier, my website is definitely more about displaying my work and my gallery. So I've got three galleries at the moment. I've got my vehicles gallery, my street gallery, and my Iceland 2018 gallery. And the way this is designed is really nice. You can just rearrange things and then in real time it just shows you how it will display. Um, I always try to mix it up a little bit so there are jumps between the images and it shows a range of your work. So you can see here I have got, uh, I've got a standalone uh, Jaguar XJS shot and then later on some Land Rover stuff, a black and white image from Iceland and then at the end I've got something a little bit more uh, personal and over here is the upload button so you can choose uh, files from your computer through their browser or you can just simply drag and drop into here which is really really handy and I just think this whole system is designed really really well so going back I'll just show you some of the other ones as well in here we've got my street one uh, this is all black and white imagery at the moment uh, because I don't really feel like I have enough color to go black and white color black and white color um, or have a sequence of images that works really well so I've gone with a black and white theme for this one and I just think that that sort of jigs up the whole site a little bit and then I go into my Iceland 2018 and this is all the gallery from my Iceland trip last year so that's sort of the gallery options and these are really well designed like I said I really enjoy using them and I think having this display here with these little icons at the bottom uh, creates a really nice sort of viewing experience if I go over to my website again um, it means that the the person viewing the website can both just use the arrow keys to flick through them but they can also use the mouse and they can see which images have been previously clicked on so to go about creating all these different things you click this button up here create a new page you can have a page products cover page folder album index blog gallery events and a link and you can see that i've actually used page products which is down here i've got a cover page i've got folders 
and I've got blogs and galleries and also a link as well and that's going to be talked about later but I'm going to talk about my pages at the moment and how you design pages so this is my contact page so it's good to have like a short little description about yourself um, a couple of paragraphs will do and again like I said you can see all of my connected accounts show up on each page and I've just got my email and my phone number my work phone number and if you go into the content editor you can see that there's these really intuitive tools so you can add whatever you want in here um, I quite like to just keep it simple just keep it down to text and images but you can if you want to add all these doing different image layouts and galleries summaries you can have audio you can have buttons and social links and things like that spaces are really good as well for creating sort of gaps between images but for now my contact page is just text and an image on the right and I think that looks really clean and when you go into it on my website you know it's just, it doesn't really scroll anywhere it's just a standalone page it is what it is and I think it works really well and this is just a little bit about me this is my assisting work and it's easiest if I show you on my website about how this works and this drop down list here the way this drop down is made is if you go plus folder and as you can see that's the same icon so I've created an about folder and then you put your individual pages in that folder and it works really well just keep it very simple all of these hyperlinks work and it's just nice to have some imagery because if you're a photographer I think everything you do should be visually engaging somehow so coming down to gear this is my link and simply what it is you just create a link you put in the link you want and that then takes the person who's on the website they click on that and it takes them to my kit uh, which is really handy and I think that works quite well I think it's good to have that kind of thing in your website because if you're trying to drive more traffic towards your website you want to have it as like the hub for everything else that you do so you've got your gear about assisting work and your blog and things like that and also your gallery so coming down here to the blog this will take you into the blog editor so again I'll show you how you create a blog you literally just click on that plus click blog and it creates its own editor for you which is really handy obviously I haven't uploaded anything in over a year on this blog but I do have plans to start adding some more personal lifestyle stuff on here maybe all of my travel plans and things like that so hopefully this starts to expand a little bit but I think it's nice to have a little backlog of images and you can start to see how far back the posts go all the way back to 2015 it's all very basic stuff about making it visual and I think at, at the crux of everything it is a photography website so you want to have things on most pages and Squarespace makes it really easy to just insert images into things so if I go onto my assisting edit this page if I wanted to for example add another image in here just click on that image and it gives you the option to do that so if we go back down to my clients list here as well this is again just another very simple page nothing fancy very simple just giving some links to what whatever I'm I've been working on um, all the companies that I've worked with and all the people that I've assisted and again if we just go to that and see how that appears when you're not in the editor again just a nice image at the bottom something very simple again just shows what you're all about and like I said this this template at the moment works really well for this kind of thing super clean nothing is very distracting about it, it does what it needs to do and again just reiterating you want it to be a, a hub for everything so having these social links down here is really handy because it can just take you straight to your Instagram page and there you go and then just go back onto my website to see my complete portfolio of my curated work and that's basically it when it comes to creating your own Squarespace website I would recommend having a look around all the design features like in here site styles the good thing about this is that you can actually hover over what you want to edit and it will only bring that up as well so that's a really handy feature it saves you having to click around for everything you can click on this gallery auto play gallery play speed and yeah it's just an incredible tool and I think everybody should have a website and that's all I've really got to say about it if you want to find some more information on it I'll leave a link to Squarespace's website in the description and most of all just have fun creating a website things like this make it so easy and so enjoyable and make sure your website is easy to navigate and really visually engaging if you are a visual artist and don't be afraid to play around with all these design tools you can always cancel any adjustments that you've done 
And I just think Squarespace is probably the way forward to go if you're not going to go around coding your own website. And there you have it. That is how I go through and design my website. Hopefully you found this video really useful. I would definitely recommend you going out and creating your own website, putting your imagery on show and not using Instagram, Facebook, Twitter as the only platform on which you present your content. And the reason I say that is with Instagram, you're very limited, I would say, in the terms of your display the information you can put out there, all your contact details. And most of all, it's just, it's not in your control. A website can be edited by you. You can have full control over everything you do. Whereas Instagram is a website essentially owned by somebody else. And I think I would rather have full control over what imagery I put out there and how I go about organizing that imagery and presenting it rather than rely on somebody else's tools like Instagram. But like I said, I'll leave all the information that you need in the description below. Uh, please check out all my other videos as well. Like I said, I'll leave all of the information that you need in the description below. I'll link Squarespace's website, I'll link my website so you can have a browse through for yourself. And also all of my social media links will be in the description as well. So apart from that, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video.